glory to God. This is the Yeshua Messiah coming to you from the city of Minneapolis, Minnesota at the MTN Television Studios. And uh, Yeshua loves you out there. The river of life is flowing towards you. Remember, he loves you with an everlasting love. And he will bring that to you in your life. My soul today is thirsty for the living streams divine to sweep from highest heaven to this poor heart of mine I stand upon the promise in Yeshua's name I plead oh send the gracious current to satisfy my Oh, the tide is rolling in, the flood 
him today. He's here today for you. Amen. Yeshua is present, ever present. And he's an ever present help in the time of need. Amen. Yeshua is that ever present help in the time of need. When you have a need. Amen. Let's read it. Isaiah. For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob which is Israel. I was just talking with Pastor Ben about how that Israel is going to be swallowed up by the new Jerusalem and <laughs> Israel's Written in the book, it's right in Revelation, it's right in there. That Israel is there, but it's the new Jerusalem that becomes my, my, large and enlarged. It comes down from above and comes up from below. And why? Because that's the, Israel doesn't have the name on it, it has the title El El, Elohim. But if Yeshua is on Jerusalem, and so is Yahweh. Jerusalem. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh. For servants and for handmaids, and they shall take them captive, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. I remember Pharaoh, he didn't have a chance to be ruled over, because why? Pharaoh enslaved the people, and he was drowned in the Red Sea with his army. But these people received mercy and they have a better life to, to, for that. Better things are spoken of. And it shall be come to pass in the day that Yahweh shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from thy hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased? We could say that today about the oppressors of today. They're going to cease. Yahweh hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger, has persecuted them none hindereth. You remember when Hitler was being swallowed up by the Russians and the American side? The, the, the NATO forces side, they were, he was swallowed up. He was, at one point, very high and lifted up. And then he came down, and so will all wickedness. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. When the wicked are done away with, the, the whole earth starts to sing. The river of life starts to function again. When are people going to wake up to the, to the knowledge of the Lord? After these thousands of years, we need to wake up, people. Time to awake to righteousness and sin not, and lie not against the truth, but receive the mercy of God. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller has come up against us. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings. Of, all, of the nations, and they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? But what happens to all the kings of the nations? They become weak. And what becomes strong becomes weak. What becomes weak becomes strong because God is just and equal in all his ways. He does not want iniquity. He does not want in, in distribution where some people over here get the food and the other people get no food. He wants distribution. Communication, that's the, the plan for the whole earth. <clears throat> and, uh, but in order to discern those things, the, those things to be de de discerned, coming out from the people, are you wicked, are you a fair, or are you a Moses? Are you, are you Yeshua, or are you Satan? What spirit do you have? 
Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. And they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? Now there are many oppressors out there weakening, weakening Christians all over the... 2015, they say 7,000 Christians were killed that year. Maybe there's more. That's just a count. I think there's probably more, but all over the earth, Christians are being persecuted like never before. Almost like, but it's not the same as the Jewish Holocaust. Not the same, but it, it, there is, there's measures of it. But for the time we're living, mercy should be built up enough to put a, to put a stop on evil, right? Evil should be stopped. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. A lot of people take that spirit on. I'm going to take over this one household here. I'm going to take over that thing over there. I'm going to take over that thing right there. And they do it with this same spirit of Satan to come rob and kill and destroy. But you won't get away with it. People think they get away with it, but they don't because it does something to, to your receiver when you can't receive the mercy and the love and the, the things that God is going to do for, in the future. You're cutting yourself off. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, is, is this the man that made the whole, made the earth to tremble and did shake the kingdoms? That, that made the world as a, as a wilderness? took the river of life and turned it into a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof and op that opened not the house of his prisoners. You remember in the book of Revelation it says the cities of the nations fell into three parts. They didn't stay together as one community, one living river of life for this earth. The devil weakens the nations. All the kings of the nations, even all, the, all them lie in glory, even every one of them in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch. So it sounds like some of those kings might have done some good things, hey? And as a raiment of those that are slain, thrust through with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass trodden under feet, thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land, and slain thy people, and the seed of evil doers shall never be renowned. Prepared slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that you do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Now we pray for the children of evil kings, that, you know, that, that some of them could be, if they're born again and they come to the Lord, they come to understand the river of life, that they could pray for these people, that they would be redeemed, redeemed out of the curse that their forefathers brought forth, because we need to pray for the past generations, the things that were wrong, that brought forth what things we have today so that the whole earth can be filled with the glory of the knowledge of the Lord and be redeemed, be healed, be... But that which is broken, be lame, that's lame, let it be healed so that it can walk again. Let the generations be lifted up and let the sin be taken out of them. But let righteousness flow down like a river and justice like a mighty stream. And let us not forget Joseph. For I will raise up against them, saith Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and the remnant and son and nephew, saith Yahweh. So the, the family's being cut off, Yahweh says here. You need to pray, people. His word says people are being cut off. I will also make it a possession. His word also says the sons of God are going to repair the former desolation of past generations. I will also make it a possession for the bittern and for the pools of water, and I will sweep it with the bosom of destruction, saith Yahweh of hosts. The bosom, something that births destruction. That sounds like hell to me. 
Yahweh of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely I have thought to thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have purposed, purposed so shall it stand. You know, God is so merciful, but why does he do this? So that he's not accepting the person of the wicked to overthrow the righteous in judgment. Would you expect the God to do justice and judgment? But he also teaches us patience in those things, in, as it is today, more patience. That I will break the Assyrian in my hand, and upon my mountains tread him underfoot. Then shall his yoke depart from off them, and his burden depart from off their shoulders. This is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth, and this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations. God wants to stop the oppressing, the oppressors. There are many victims in the earth today, and we cry out for those victims. Even all those people that came up to the border in Mexico, some of them people may be real victims and they may have a real good spirit and they want to repent towards godly things and good things. And we need people that can vet those people that will let them in, the ones that are godly. And the ones that are ungodly, let them also be healed. Let them learn what they're doing wrong. Let them understand what they're doing is wrong and turn to God if they're the oppressing kind of persons or the ones that come to rob and kill and destroy because your spirits are not right. We gotta pray for justice and judgment in everything in this earth, and everything in our personal lives. And when a wicked person starts to do good, we need to thank and praise God for that and thank them. But you know, they may have a lot more wickedness to deal with than you. But so pray that God will reveal more to them what they need to do well and do good. Because if they don't, they'll turn back to their wickedness. But far be it from us to turn them away from their goodness when they try to do goodness, even in their wickedness. Some people do goodness so they can take care of themselves in their wickedness. That's another bad motive. But far be it from us that we should hinder from any goodness coming out of a wicked, when a person that's wicked wants to repent truly and turn to God. That's why. You know, we have this problem of too many immigrants coming in and taking over the voting system and trying to, the people are trying to overthrow the country so they can have a, a world system and so forth. It's not by might nor power, people. The wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. You don't go and tear down a nation to bring forth the new world order. The, the new world order is right here, folks. It's in the Bible. If you just do the things in the Bible, go reach, stretch out your hand to the poor, the afflicted. You know, stop, help them from the oppressors that are oppressing them. Strengthen the poor that are truly poor. But the Bible says, do not be a respecter of persons that are poor, because if they're poor in understanding, they need to turn to the Bible. If you're poor, if you're just going scratching after food all the time, why don't you turn to the, to, the, to the Bible? Because men are holding that truth in the, in the streets falsely. They're, they're lifting up... Cre uh, Instead of creationism, they're turning up, turn, lifting up the, uh, this the Big Bang Theory and all this stuff, but they're turning people away from their healing. And what will become of those people? We just read about some of the generations. God's going to make, make hell for them, you know. If they can't get their generations cleaned up by, by what they're doing evil to this generation. We need to stop the evil today that's happening too, besides the evil back then. We're, the sons of God are doing all that stuff with the Lord and His Spirit. We're healing everything, wanting to restore everything. If you're if you're a wicked person, you know you rob, killing, and destroy. You have the spirit of Satan on you. Turn from your wickedness. Turn away from it. There's there's their life is coming forth, and if you if you turn now, the life is going to finally overcome this obstacle here. Sin will tears are going to be wiped away. The Bible talks about that time coming. Where will you be at that time? You will be full of your, the fruits of your wickedness, and then you have nowhere to, to be but in hell. And here God talks about what he created for those people. I will also make it a possession for the bitter in the pools of water. I will sweep it with the bosom of destruction, saith Yahweh of hosts, for these people that are not saved. Prepare slaughter for his children, the wicked man. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. That would be 
and that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and the remnant and the son and nephew, saith Yahweh. And I will make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the bosom of destruction, saith Yahweh of hosts. Yahweh of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely I have fought, so shall it come to pass. He's going to do, do away with these people. And as I purpose, so shall it stand. That I will break the Assyrian in my land, and upon my mountains tread him underfoot. His burden shall depart from off their shoulders. This is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth, and this is the hand that is stretched out upon all nations. God's hand is on the nations, and the nations, Satan is trying to weaken the nations by turning them to sin, turning them to, away from mercy, away from compassion and love and mercy. And God is saying, no, turn them back to mercy. But if not, I'm going to judge those people. And that's what he just said here. He's making hell for these Assyrians. And it says in another place, Rejoice not thou whole Palestinia, because the rod of him that smote thee is broken. For out of the serpent's root shall come forth his carcasses, and his fruit shall be a flying, fiery, firing serpent. In other words, if no wicked is going to escape, it's going to multiply if you're turning to wickedness. And the firstborn of the poor shall feed, and the needy shall lie down in safety. That's the hand purpose to God upon the whole earth. The firstborn of the poor shall feed, and the needy shall lie down in safety. So I pray for those people on the border in Mexico. If they are truly are needy, we need to not turn them away. I would, I, I'm, I'm, but we need to know what's in their heart. And, and even the wicked people, we pray for them, people to turn. We don't want to see them, people destroyed. But they, they should be vetted at our border so that we don't bring more wickedness in here. We need people that are fearful of, of God, that want the river of life for, for people around them, not going to be oppressors, robbing, killing, and destroying. But we need to have mercy on these people that are under that oppression from those countries. And they all seem to be all under wickedness. If they're under the scourge of wickedness, they all need an awful lot of help. And I pray that we can help more of them. First, born of the poor shall feed, and the needy shall lie down in safety. And I will kill thy root with famine, and he shall slay thy remnant. God have mercy on those people wherever they are. If they're on the other side of the border, around the world, wherever they are, God is doing justice and judgment. Bring food to those that need it, Lord. Show man compassion to send it to him, too. How, O gate, cry, O city, thou whole Palestinian, art dissolved, from, for there shall come forth from the north a smoke, and none shall be alone in his appointed times. What shall one then answer the messengers of the nation? That what Yahweh hath founded Zion, and the poor of his people shall trust in it. Yahweh, thou art my Elohim, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth, for thou hast made a city of a heap. See if you can sing that. guitars when you tune them use the fifth fret here and that sound should be one sound the same fifth fret here and the two string sound they should make one sound if they vibrate that means they're fighting against each other that one's wah 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 yeah, tighten the fourth string up see if that fixes it that fixed it pretty much Tiny wah wah on that. Back a little bit. There's 
sounds magnify when you get the two together. That's really going up to higher. That's a little better. Get it more perfect with the electric one, but here we go. This is Psalms 20, no, Isaiah 25. But thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat when the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall. Thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers as the heat in a dry place. Even the heat with the shadow of the cloud. The branch of the terrible ones shall be brought low. To the mountains, to the Lord of hosts, make unto all people a feast of fat things in this mountain, a feast of wines on the leaves, of fat things full of marrow, of wines on the leaves, well refined, and he will destroy in this mountain. Of the covering cast over all people, and the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death in victory. And Yahweh Elohim will wipe away tears from off all faces, and the rebuke. Of his people shall he take away from off all the earth. For Yahweh has spoken it, just like let there be light, and it shall be said. yourself above the Lord without the Lord, he'll tear you down and bring it into the dust eventually. It will come down. Come down from your high places. Remember, life is with the living. It's with the lowly. With all lowliness, forbearing one another in love. Don't destroy the spirit. Help the people come to understanding. Let everybody awake to righteousness and sin not and lie not against the truth. And then and when the earth, when we lift him up together, we, all, we honor the gospel. Then the earth shall yield its increase. 
That's coming to pass soon, folks. Though it don't look like it. It didn't look like it when Moses and children of Israel were in the land of Egypt. It didn't look like anything good could happen in that situation. Making brick without straw. Under oppressions. The next thing you know it, they're on the other side of the Red Sea. And Pharaoh and all his army are dead in the sea. Justice and judgment comes down. Let righteousness flow like a river and justice like a mighty stream. And don't forget about Joseph. Joseph was in Egypt. And what happened? Those that didn't know Joseph later on put the children of Italy into oppressions because they forgot the lessons of God. In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation, God will appoint for walls and bulwarks. That was sung when the cross came. Boy, we started, we, and we see the offshoots of it now, 2,000 years later. Open ye the gates that the righteous nations which keep the, keep the truth may enter in. There went the guitar. Hang on the guitar. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. Trust in Yahweh forever, for in Yahweh Jehovah, Yahweh Yehovah, Yehovah, not Jehovah, Yehovah, is everlasting strength. To honor his name, I always try to use the name Yehovah, the original spelling of it, because to change a name above all names, it doesn't make sense in my mind, I don't know about your mind, but to honor God in many ways, but we honor him with our, the way we treat people too. For he bringeth down them that dwell on the high, a lofty city, he layeth it low, he layeth it low even to the ground. He bringeth it even to the dust. The foot shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor, and the steps of the needy. The way of the, way of the just is uprightness, thou most upright, thus weigh the path of the just. Yea, in the way of thy judgments, O Yahweh, have we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name, and to the remembrance of thee. With my soul have I desired thee in the night, yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. When they finally start to see, if, if, if the gospel is lifted up again in America, and the people start to see the goodness that comes from that, the people are going to learn righteousness. They're not going to learn this ignorance that they have today. I see people that are young people today that they don't. They don't think the Bible, or they don't think America is very valid at all. It has to be the New World Order, but an order without peace, you know, a New World Order without without righteousness, without people turning to God, the, the Creator, making their own uh, kingdom. It, that's not, it's like another lesson for the Tower of Babel to come to the people, you know. We don't need that. We need people to come to understanding. And the Bible does say when we honor the Gospel, we lift up Yeshua, he'll draw all men unto himself. Here we go. The foot shall tread down even the feet of the poor, the steps of the needy. The way of the justice uprightness, thou most upright dost weigh the path. Wait a minute, I'm getting ahead of myself here. And in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make a... Oh, that's the one I... I'm in, I'm in the right one. Yea, in the way of thy judgments, O Yahweh, we have waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. Because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they're safe. That, that tower is the same as his body. You got in the Old Testament, you've got the, the Noah's Ark, and then we've got uh, Moses, and we've got the Ark and the, uh, the Covenant in the wilderness that they carried and then we had Yeshua show up which was the, the ark today and that's who the, and, the, and, that, the, and that name of the Yahweh is, is in Yeshua that's the name of all names and that's the, to, the tower and it says not unto us but unto thy name give glory and God says he will not give us glory to another so Yeshua and, and Yahweh are not another and not another name even they're the same Yahweh and Yahushua is the same person folks <laughs> it's the same glory. He says he will not give his glory to another. Well, he didn't give it to 
Yeshua. He, that is actually Yeshua. Yahweh was in Yeshua, reconciling the world unto himself. Yahweh was in Yeshua. <clears throat> Amen. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness he will deal unjustly. And will not behold the majesty of Yahweh. A lot of people are in darkness today. You don't understand what you're doing. You're robbing, killing, and destroying, and don't even know that you're going to be caught. But whatsoever man soweth, he shall also reap. And here it says, For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. But let favor be shown to the wicked. If they're going to continue to be wicked, the Bible says, Let the filthy be filthy still, let the righteous be righteous still, the wicked be wicked still. It's in Revelation. Yet will he not learn righteousness in the land of uprightness? Will he deal unjustly? He's still going to go out robbing and being unjust. Justice is not going to flow like a river for this guy or this person. And will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Will not behold the river of life. They're going to, they're going to go after death and they don't know they're doing it to their own soul. For when thy hand is lifted up, they will not see, but they shall see and be ashamed for their envy at the people. Yea, the fire of thy enemy shall devour them. When you see a righteous person working hard, don't be envious of that person. Follow their example. Go out and work hard and be, friends, be friendship with them. Be fellowship with them. Grow in understanding and learn lessons of life from them. Let them be your mentors instead of being you tor tormenting them or hurting them. You take away your own part of the tree of the of the book of life if you do things that are evil. Look, thou wilt ordain peace for Lord, Yahweh. Thou wilt ordain peace for us, for thou also hast wrought all our works in us. Yahweh, our Elohim, other lords beside thee have had dominion over us, but by thee only will we make mention of thy name. So, so by him, how would God say his own name? I'm Yehovah. I'm not Jehovah. He's not going to say, I'm Yehovah, then turn around and say, I'm Jehovah. He's not going to say, I'm Yahushua, and then turn around and say, I'm Jesus. That's how God's going to be with his own name. He's not going to devise up his own name. You got to want to read that scripture? It's uh, Isaiah 26, 12. By thee only shall we make mention of thy name. Therefore, they are dead they shall not live, they are deceased, they shall not rise. Therefore hast thou visited and destroyed them, and made all their memory to perish. Thou hast increased the nation, O Yahweh. Thou hast increased the nation, thou art glorified. Thou hast removed it far unto all ends of the earth. Ye, Lord Yahweh, in trouble have they visited thee. They poured out a prayer when thy chastening was upon them. It's good to be chastened by the Lord. Amen. Like as a father disciplines his son and his children. Like as a woman with child that dwelleth near the time of her delivery is in pain and crieth out in her pain, so have we been <clears throat> in thy sight, O Yahweh. Because the wicked were attacking these people. That's what, what happened to them in Egypt. They were making brick without straw and Pharaoh was whipping them and beating them and some of them were dying. And Moses came by the word of Yahweh and delivered them out of Egypt. We have been with child, we have been in pain, and we have, as it were, brought forth wind. We have not wrought any deliverance in the earth, neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen. Pharaoh was still standing at that point in time, but a few months later, or a couple of weeks later, bang, Pharaoh's at the bottom of the Red Sea, children of Israel are free on the other side, headed for the Promised Land. Things change with God. And the wicked don't see it coming because they don't discern justice, time and judgment. They think they'll go on forever doing robbing, killing, and destroying. And it can go on for it doesn't continue, folks. It stops. So it's time right now is the time to repent, to turn back to God, to find the river of life, because it's gonna envelop the whole earth soon, folks. Just like the what is if if someone were to say, Well, Pharaoh's never gonna be dead, you look at this is Egypt running over these Egypts and they're Building the stones that people come visit for. Oh, you got it made here. You're having all these Egyptians do all your work. I mean, this, these Israelites doing all your work. 
but shortly after that it was all changed, wasn't it? And that's the way it is with the things in the earth, folks. They change. Thy dead men shall live together with my dead body. They shall arise, awake, and sing. You that dwell in the dust, for the dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall, be ca shall cast out her dead. And of course the wicked shall be risen from the dead too, but they will be risen to judge, to judgment. Come, my people, enter into the, thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. You know, when God's people suffer these things from the wicked, the time is going to come when we, the sons and saints of God, are going to judge the wicked. And, you know, when you're younger, you think, well, how can I judge that? I don't have, can't even judge my own self from many things, you know. But, I, but you come to understand more about yourself and more about the Spirit of God in you. You come to understand what's in other people and how they turn away from their own mercy. And you watch that in, in people many times. You see what they're doing to themselves. And they judge themselves on worthy of eternal life and they discredit God. They put the gospel down like it's not worthy, like it's not, it's not going to come to pass in this world. The devil's in charge of the world or, or this is made by evolution. And, you know, it's, it's, there's no God, you know, that kind of thing. The Bible says the fool has said in his heart there is no God. But he, he, the fool doesn't know what's coming his way. Um, Power-packed trouble is what's coming. And they don't realize it. <clears throat> Come, my people, enter into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. You know, it's called the kingdom and patience of Yeshua Messiah. These indignations are coming from the wicked that don't receive the good news. But they will be separated out. The Bible says, let the wheat and tares grow until harvest. So God is having mercy on the, on the tares while they're just trying to destroy the wheat. But the wheat are learning from this lesson, right? They're learning everything they need to know about judgment from you wicked. You're doing it for them. Stop doing it to them and they'll be, they'll be seeking the Lord more themselves. And so will you. For behold, Yahweh cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. So is Yahweh going to come and punish you for robbing, killing, and destroying? Yes, he is. It says here, The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. People that are murdering people, even if you're not murdering people, you're weakening, like Satan weakens the nations, you're weakening people's lives. You're weakening people. It's not going to be covered anymore, folks. People are going to realize who and what you are. Nothing's hidden before the Lord and before the public opinion of all the people because of the Spirit of God. And that day Yahweh with his sword, great strong sword, shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. In that day singing unto her a vineyard of red wine, I, Yahweh, do keep it, and I will water it every moment lest any hurt it, and I will keep it night and day. Fury is not in me. Who would set the briars and the thorns against me in battle? You, you're trying to hinder God and slow him down with some thorns and stuff? He says, I will go through them. I will burn them together. Or let him take hold of my strength, that he may make peace with me, and he shall make peace with me. You need God's strength to be able to have life. He says, let him take hold of my strength. He always say to the wicked, let take hold of my strength and make peace with me. I will help you. Yahweh wants to help you. Yahweh, yeah, through Yeshua the Son, of course. He shall cause them that come of Jacob to take root. Israel shall blossom and bud and fill the face of the world with fruit. Hath he smitten him as he smote those that smote him? Or is he slain according to the slaughter of them that are slain by him? In measure when it shooteth forth, thou wilt debate with it. He stayeth his rough wind in the day of his east wind. By this, thereof, by this, therefore, shall the iniquity of Jacob be purged. And this is all the fruit to take away his sin. When he maketh all the stones of the altar as chalk stones that are beaten in asunder, and the groves and the images shall not stand up. I can give you the interpretation of this for you today. And there is for today. And it's from the Lord to you, okay? By this, therefore, shall the iniquity of Jacob, he used the word wife, that's his original name, be purged. And this is all the fruit to take away his sin. 
when he bring, maketh all the stones of the altar as chalk stones, and that are beaten and sundered. The groves and the images shall not stand up. Other names for God are not going to stand up. You're going to have a pure, the, the, like it says in Zechariah 14, in that day the Lord shall be one, Yahweh shall be one Yahweh, and his name one. If you and Yahweh are going to be known by the people as one, when that comes to pass, when we get rid of all the descript the divisions that people put on the Godhead, the Godhead is the hero Israel, the Yahweh your Elohim is one Yahweh, and Yeshua represents Him perfectly in flesh, because He is Yahweh in the flesh. He's the only begotten Son. What does that mean? There's no other one like Him. Yet the defense city shall be desolate, and the heavens forsaken, and left like a wilderness. Therefore shall the calf feed, and there shall he lie down, and consume the branches thereof. It's like the, there's going to be a time, the, the wicked are going to be exalted, but the, the righteous are going to know that the chalk stones are gone, and they're going to have the right image for who Yahweh is. They're going to be close to Yahweh. When the bowls thereof are withered, they are, shall be broken off, and women come and set them on fire, for there is a people of no understanding. These are for the other ones, the wicked. Not for those that have beaten the, the stones of the altar to the chalk stone, so no images stand up. But the other ones have an image of their own life, right? And not the life of the body of Messiah, the strong tower called by his name. And so the, the people of no understanding, therefore he that made them will not have mercy on them. The wicked are not have not shown mercy, they have not received mercy, and he that made them will not have mercy on them. Oh, woe unto you folks that are robbing, killing, and destroying, and not repenting. And he that formed them will show them no favor. He formed you in your mother's womb, and you're not getting any favor because you're continuing in your wickedness. And it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh shall beat off from the channel of the river unto the stream of Egypt, and, shall be, and you shall be gathered by, one by one, O children of Israel. And that's what's happening today. Eliyah, they're going to Israel from Ukraine, from all over. They're heading to Israel. O you children of Israel, and it shall come to pass in that day that the great trumpet shall be blown. The great trumpet shall be blown, folks, in that day. great trumpet shall be blown. That represents a great trumpet. And they shall come which were ready to perish in the land of Assyria, and the outcasts in the land of Egypt, and shall worship Yahweh in the holy mount at Jerusalem. So even the Assyrians and the Egyptians are going to worship Yahweh in the mount at Jerusalem. Woe unto the pride of the drunkards of Ephraim, whose glorious beauty is the fading flower which are on the head of the fat valleys of them which are overcome with wine. That's the next chapter. But finishing that one, and it just isn't that wonderful? You should be gathered, every one of you, O children of Israel. Or you should be gathered one by one. I didn't say everyone. And it shall come to pass, and in that day that the great trumpet shall be blown, and they shall come which were ready to perish in the land of Assyria. People that are ready to perish are people that are humble, right? Lowly. They'll turn to God and the outcasts in the land of Egypt, people that are outcasts in Egypt, not the top-notch people, and shall worship Yahweh in the holy mount at Jerusalem. Jerusalem, as they say in, in Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Good people. Let's see how much time we got. I feel we've got... Uh, about 10 minutes, well, it's a little less than 10 minutes. Let's sing some more scriptures.
with her. He usually books the strings out of tune a little bit. Okay. Behold, and this is uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 27. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 27. Behold, the name of Yahweh cometh from afar. to be heard and, and shall show the lighting down of his arm with the indignation of his anger and with flame of divine fire with scattering and tempest and hailstones. Ezekiel 38 words are going to be hailstones coming down killing people. For through the voice of Yahweh shall the Assyrian be beaten down who smote with his rod and in every place where the grounded staff shall pass which Yahweh shall lay upon him it shall be with tibets and harps in the battles of shaking, will it be will he fight with it? For Tophet is ordained of old, yea, for the king is it is prepared. He hath made it deep and, and large. The pile thereof is, is fire and much wood. The breath of Yahweh, like a stream of brimstone, doth kindle it. Wow, there's going to be praises going on for God's people and trouble for the wicked. For the Egyptians will help in vain, and to no purpose therefore have I cried concerning this, their strength is to sit still. Now go, now go write it in a book before them in a table, and note it in a book that they may that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. So you know it's called the kingdom and patience of Yeshua Messiah. Sometimes your strength is to, to wait on the Lord. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings of eagles. That this is a rebellious people, a lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh, or the gospel, the good news of Yahweh, which is today replaced the law, the love, love of God, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Give us what we want, and what we are, our pleasures in our mind. Get you out of the way, and turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before. Get that gospel stuff out of here when I hear about it. 
Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word, and trust in oppression and perverseness, and stay thereon. Therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. And ye shall break it as the breaking of the potter's wheel, vessel that is broken in pieces. Ye shall not spare it, so that there shall not be found in the bursting of it a shirt to take fire from the earth, or to take water withal out of the pit. For thus saith Yahweh Elohim, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and in rest shall you be saved. In quietness and in confidence shall be your strength, and you would not. So we need to trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all our ways, and He will direct our paths. And if we seek Him first, the day is better, the, the night is better, the week is better. Everything is better if you seek Him first. <clears throat> and the principles that are in the Word. When you're downtrodden, you're in a pit, you're down low, you need to, things are troubled around you, do a little bit of good each time. Do a little bit of work. If, even if your emotions are troubling you, do something to go forward. Lay planks in that hole. If you build up your emotions, build up your physical world around you, build up the spiritual things around you. In the name of Yeshua, use those of you who seek the Lord. <clears throat> but those that are seeking, not seeking him, it's like a wall that's going to fall. And if they flee on horses and flee for, for dangers of things, they're not trusting that the land is going to be turned back to God. In, in this scripture here. And therefore will the Lord wait, and be, he may be gracious unto you, and therefore will he be exalted, and he may have mercy upon you. For Yahweh is a God of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him. Blessed are all they that are in the kingdom and patience of Yeshua Messiah. And they're preaching the gospel to the poor and they're preaching the gospel to the wicked out there that can be that are poor enough to repent. Once one should once one thousand shall flee at the rebuke of one, and the rebuke of five shall ye flee, till ye all be left as a beacon upon the top of the mountain, and as the ensign on the hill. Let's talk about the wicked siding and the wicked people that don't turn to him. And therefore will the Lord wait till he may be gracious unto you, therefore will he be exalted, that he may have mercy upon you, for the Lord is a God of judgment, blessed him. Remember the hand on the holders is to try to bless everybody. 